Hello there YouTube, it is I, Random Ross, and in this video, yes, you can't see me because, well, I just uh, don't have the time or energy to properly film a video, so instead I'm giving you my vocals, and of course, this is a theory video. So, ever since Season 1 of The Walking Dead, began it started off great and has somewhat gone downhill a bit but i'm not here talking about that now of course with this being a post-apocalyptic zombie horror series i always wonder if it's an apocalypse where are the four horsemen of the apocalypse of course yes with it being a zombie apocalypse the dead take over but what if the four horsemen are still walking around in the show? Now this is a theory that I've come up with. Okay, so it's not really true for definite, but of course it's just the theory I came up with. But let me know what you think to these theories that are about to be exp about to be explained in this video. The theory is based on the opinions of all of us here at Random Horror. So, without any further delay, let us begin. The governor is war. Throughout the third season of The Walking Dead, the governor was the villain for that season and a quarter of season four. He had the whole community of Woodbury under his control until he lost it in the season three finale. And of course, he built a new army from a community that he found after he killed the leaders. He then led them again on a fight against Rick in the mid-season finale of season 4 before meeting his end. How he used his manipulation to start a new army. What does that tell you? Gareth is the famine. In the season 4 finale, Rick and the rest of them make it to the place called Terminus, a haven promising good food and shelter. But of course, Rick soon finds that it is a trap and that the people led by Gareth kill and cannibalize on human bodies, basically making everyone so hungry they feed on the flesh of humans and cannibalize, leading these cannibals. And of course, as the horsemen of the famine, people that starve, do resort to cannibalism as he can cause people to do that. But of course, met his end in the first half in the mid-season finale of season five of the show. Negan is Pestilence. Since making his appearance on screen in the season 6 finale, Negan for a while we thought was the Horseman of Conquest. But of course, with different takes of the Book of Revelations, sometimes it's Conquest, other times it's Pestilence. Given the recent events in Season 8 of The Walking Dead, Negan has shown that he could possibly be the Horseman of Pestilence. For example, using the blood of walkers as a weapon, a bioweapon if you will, using that on his bat Lucille, and then of course getting all the saviours to put walker blood on their weapons so that if it should graze or wound any of the enemies they would get infected with the virus and become zombies and of course 
He keeps walkers tied to his fence. People that were once themselves infected before turning. Rick is death. Ever since season one of the show, he has took leadership of our main characters, and one by one, they have all slowly died. And basically, everyone from Rick's team at the start are now all dead, and have all died in his name, whether it was a stupid decision that got them killed, or whether it was just someone fighting to defend Rick. Either way, he has brought on a lot of death. Not only that, but has also used drastic measures to overpower those who do him wrong and sometimes brutally kill. What does that tell you? I believe that he could be the horseman of death. And there you have it. Do you believe that these four men could be the four horsemen of the apocalypse? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And to hit that notification bell so you can see more from us. Also, all our social media links, our Facebook group, The Random Horror Madhouse, our Twitter and Instagram are all linked down below in the description, so be sure to check those out to see what we get up to outside of the YouTube world. So, that's pretty much it for this video. So until next time, don't have nightmares.